How's it going guys? So whenever I post on Instagram and show this little gauge in the corner here, people go crazy asking me so many questions. What is it? Who makes it? What does it do? So today in this video, I'm going to tell you all about this Ultra Gauge EM Plus. Okay, so the Ultra Gauge comes as one piece, the monitor, a screen, and a long cord. And at the end of the cord is your OBD2 plug. And you just plug this guy right in um, to your port over here. Here's mine, there we go, right here. And that's installed, so super, super simple. You can see it turning on after I plugged it in and it's scanning. Um, and then as far as mounting goes, I just chose to mount mine using a piece of mounting tape and Velcro. It comes with the Velcro that's on both sides of this guy. Um, but the Velcro actually fell off the back here within a day or two, so I got a stronger piece of mounting tape, and that's been holding on there almost for a year. Um, there are custom mounts for this, like plastic clip-in mounts, um, but most of them are like for up here. And I really like how simple this is if I want to take it out. For some reason, I don't have any modifications to the dash. And it also lets me place it in a good area that I really like. And it also gives me the flexibility to reach behind here and access the buttons that are on the back um, whenever I want. And that's kind of an important feature because you want to be changing um, your gauge page setup. There's, I think there's seven different pages on here that you can choose from. So yeah, that's the basics of how I have it mounted. And now I'm going to take you on a little drive and you can see what it looks like in the truck at night and um, kind of what it looks like when you're driving and also why um, I have it mounted where I do and not somewhere else. So all right guys, so here is a view of what the gauge looks like at night. Um, this is mostly why I have that orange cover on the light, so it's not a uh, bright blue. I really like all the uh, orange light in the car and it's a lot softer on your eyes. But this is another good example of why I have it where I have it. You can see it clearly, but um, it's not in your like main field of vision. And depending on how you set your steering wheel, you can hide it almost so um, yeah this is what it looks like when I'm driving around and it's got a lot of helpful information as well as being a code reader so I've got um, a couple check engine lights before while I was out um, truck was running totally fine and it was cool to be able to check that code ended up being a catalytic converter code every time one time was going after going through some water or stopping after a hot day on like a hill and the water from the AC condenser um, AC unit dripping water down onto the cat and kind of um, throwing off a misread. Um, so it's nice to be able to do that on a trip, know what's going on instead of just getting a check engine light and not know what the heck's happening. So it's always reading codes, you can always check that. And then it's also got all that really nice instant um, miles per gallon, engine temperature, average miles per gallon, um, fuel level if you, if you use it, intake temperature. I like to use the the uh, intake temperature is basically a couple degrees higher for the most part than the outside temperature, so it's kind of like a cheating ambient temperature gauge, at least it, I've discovered it like that. Um, and then I also have the voltage set up, I just changed it back to that, so it's nice to be able to see what your alternator is putting out. Um, and I've had the car not start before, it ended up being the starter, and it was nice to be able to turn the key and see that the battery had full voltage and it wasn't a low voltage thing so it's just nice to have all those type of uh, parameters and stuff monitored and like i said i think there's 43 different gauge possibilities and there's also six or seven different pages you could have set up so this one's set up to be my main one and then i could switch it to show like um show six different other pages set up individually so um, that's why I really like having this gauge in my truck. Um, I get a lot of questions about it, like I said. Hopefully this video gives you a little um, insight into what it's like having one in your truck. And I think now I'm going to show you what the uh, gauge pages look like themselves and all the different options. So let's do that now. Alright, let's take a look at the options we have with the Ultra Gauge. now. Like I said before, I have a piece of film on top of here that's um, making everything orange. So I'm going to take that off um, just so you can see what it looks like without it. And uh, also, I think there's a little bit less glare. So 
Uh, for those wondering, this is a photo gel. This goes in front of a, 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 a camera flash and just changes the color temperature of everything. So uh, this is like free. I have this in my photo supplies, but if you want to do that, that's how I did that. Um, okay, let's look at the menu settings here. These are the buttons on the back. Menu, page up, page down. So that's what I'm going to be using here. Um, hard press on the menu button and here we go. So we've got gauge page and menu, fuel menu, vehicle setup, ultra gauge setup, alarms. That's for like, um, you can set an alarm if you want to remind yourself when to change your oil, that kind of thing. Um, trouble codes, you can read your trouble codes. I don't have any codes right now, but that's the, um, that's like the OBD2 scanner portion of this. Let's see. Let's go check and see if I have any codes. So engine trouble codes. It's going to look for them. I've got zero trouble co codes right now, so that's nice. Uh, pending codes, zero as well. Um, if you did have a code, that's how you would clear it, and you could go clear check engine, blah, blah, blah. Back, um, gauge page, and menu. Let's try that one. So this is where you can select your gauges that show up on your pages. You have seven different pages to set up how you want and you can set them each up for different reasons, whatever you want. I just basically have one set up. Um, but here we're going to go select gauge page, so select gauges. Um, and here you can see all the different gauges that are available. So I'm going to go to next. Um, you can see coolant temperature and Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can pick all that stuff which is nice. Um, you've got your timing, advance, intake, air temperature, mass, o mass airflow, throttle position, a um, bunch of calculated ones as well, instantaneous miles per gallon, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can see there's quite a few. I think it's a total of 44. Um, and you can really pull up a bunch of different stuff. It's nice to just be able to keep an eye on the basics and that's really why I have it. So we're gonna go back here to the beginning and I'll show you again my particular setup um, all the way back out of here. So I've just kind of updated my setup. I've got um, my instant miles per gallon, my average miles per gallon, which it stays around about 15. It's always been like that even with the bumper before I had the bumper and everything. Engine temperature, RPM, intake temperature, and voltage um, of my battery or my basically my alternator. So if that starts dipping down, that's kind of low for an alternator at idle. Um, that's just another good example of why having one of these guys always running is kind of nice because it just lets you know when stuff is going wrong before it really goes wrong. So yeah, that is the uh, short look at the ultra gauge that I use in my truck. Um, really small, really handy, really nice. Um, hopefully this video is somewhat helpful. I know it's not the clearest video, but um, yeah, I wanted to answer some questions about this gauge and hopefully you guys found it useful. So all right guys, so hopefully that explains what the little gauge is in my truck. Um, gives you a little bit of an idea of how it works and how it might be in your truck and what I use it for. There are some other options out there other than ultra gauge and the other one is scan gauge. And scan gauge does allow you to put in um, non uh, manufacturer specific codes like for the transmission temperature so the scan gauge is a little bit more expensive the only reason I don't have it is not really the price it's actually the display I didn't like the display as much I like how you can have so much information on the uh, ultra gauge at one time um, with that being said I might end up going to the scan gauge in the future because it does have that transmission temperature and with an automatic truck that's pretty important I've already roasted my transmission once so um, yeah I might be changing it up for that but if you have any more questions about the ultra gauge feel free to put it in the comments if I can answer it I will if not check out their website ultragauge.com they should have all the information you need there so anyways thanks for watching you guys thanks for subscribing really enjoying posting content here on youtube and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video